Let me now introduce Travis Myernick, Mooch and Nancy's son, to accept the induction for Mooch. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Casey, sorry if I got you uh, wet with any of my tears there. I um, was planning on keeping it together better than that. That video was really well done. But it's probably ruined any composure I was going to have to pull this off. Um, Jimmy, uh, thank you so much you know, for the tribute. Uh, you just paid Dad uh, by being here um, you know, and giving... Uh, such a moving tribute to him. So thank you on behalf of the family. Um, I want to thank U.S. Soccer, MLS, Seattle Sounders. Uh, obviously, a lot of work has gone into putting this event on uh, this weekend. It's tremendous. Uh, I want to congratulate Casey and Ziggy um, on your inductions as well. Very, very well uh, deserved, and to your to your families. Um, the selection committee, you know that the. the uh, select and, and nominate the people for, for this tremendous honor. I want to thank them for bestowing this tremendous night uh, on our family. Um, you know, Dad's going in as a, as a veteran player, so uh, it, it was a little bit difficult to, to come up with some things to say because uh, being his son um, didn't have too much knowledge uh, firsthand of, of him as a player, uh, besides some limited. Uh, footage, but have been very fortunate enough to, to hear some stories uh, over the years. And I think um, being a player uh, in the uh, NASL, um, he was very, very happy to enjoy some of the privileges that came with being a professional soccer player or a professional athlete, um, you know, in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, and <clears throat> I want to share a story with you. Uh, when he was playing with the Portland Timbers, um, the Timbers had put on a type of um, marketing promotion where uh, fans of the Timbers, female fans, uh, could win a date uh, <laughs> with, with a player, uh, actually two, two players. Um, and and um, my dad was, was fortunate enough to be selected as, as one of these players to go on this date. And the, the deal was you would be picked up at your house uh, by the players in a limo and they would be very formally dressed. and. Uh, I believe, you know, take you to dinner and show you a good time and, um, you know, and thank you for being a Timbers fan, I, I suppose. Um, <laughs> and obviously it, it, it was very unique for my mom who uh, was married to <laughs> my dad and uh, also pregnant with Kelly. Um, but with that said, it sounds like a very successful promotion. Z Ziggy, Bruce, you may want to consider it with your teams. Uh, I think it would, would do well. Cindy, I don't know if you can talk to Jurgen. It may go over huge with the national team. <clears throat> um, but it was, it was challenging to, to consider what to, to say because obviously uh, we would all much rather be hearing from him right now. Um, you know, th this type of, uh, of moment should be uh, enjoyed by the person who sacrificed, um, you know, th their life to do what they were passionate about and share that with, with people that they sacrificed with and have, and have been in the profession with. Um, so it, it was a little bit difficult, but uh, I, I believe, um, you know, 
what he would want to share with you is how, how proud he was um, <clears throat> and how thankful he was and, and even reflect a little bit at the end. So th th with those words in mind, uh, I, I think that's what he would want everybody uh, to, to take from his moment. Um, and he was very proud. Uh, I, I think, you know, re reading his bio and, and obviously without um, minimizing all, all of his accomplishments as a player through, through Hartwick and the NASL and, and the Olympic team and the national team, uh, I thought it would be very important to, to remember that uh, he was from Mercer County, uh, New Jersey, and that's where his skill and passion for the game really evolved and was, was cultivated, and it was a very unique place, uh, Mercer County. Uh, it was, you know, a suburb of Trenton, uh, Lawrenceville, and it, it was a big industrial town at the time, and a lot of uh, immigrants were there, and there were different pockets uh, of ethnic groups that had developed uh, their own clubs, and, and, and soccer almost took on a European feel in Mercer County at that time. Uh, you had the Trenton Scots and the Trenton Italians and the German Americans, and, and so for uh, a young American boy at the time who had a natural love for soccer, it was a very unique place that, that allowed his passion, I think, to, to really uh, develop. And I was fortunate enough to, this morning, spend time with some uh, Mercer County guys who we are very thankful are here. Uh, Hall of Fame member Bobby Smith, uh, former NASL pro Tim Murphy, and uh, a mentor of dad's, uh, Charles Pingpong uh, Ferruto, uh, is here. And we appreciate their, their trip uh, all the way from New Jersey to be here. But it was really important. Um, I think people to, to know, and he would want people to know that Mercer County always uh, was going to have a very special uh, and important place in, in his heart in terms of anything he achieved um, in the game. Uh, and as a 15-year-old, he got to, to take a trip to, to Germany with the, the gentleman I just mentioned, and uh, you're talking about some, someone who all of a sudden is now um, – has their first experience overseas at 15 and they're playing against teams in Germany. And I, I think that probably solidified uh, his decision to make soccer his life, at least one, one of the experiences uh, without, without a doubt. Um, he was proud to, to be an alumni of Hartwick and be part of some of their most successful teams uh, in history. Um, obviously the, the climate of college soccer has changed a little bit and Hartwick maybe is not winning as many games as they were, but he was still very, very proud and, and proud to, to play for you, Jimmy, and, and, and coach with you, definitely. Uh, he was proud to, to play in the NASL, his, his, you know, the domestic league of the country where he was trying to, to grow the game as a player. Um, and he was proud to, to represent his country, uh, obviously, you know, as a coach late, later in his career, but as a player for the Olympic team uh, and for, for the national team. <clears throat> Uh, he, he would want everybody to know how thankful he was, you know, for, for the things that he achieved. Um, he would want to thank uh, his mother, Ruth, and, and his dad, uh, Bob, for, for obviously uh, their support as parents uh, growing up. He'd want to thank his, his brother, Bob, his sister, Gail, th they're here as well, um, for, again, being the, that support for him as, as a family. Uh, he was very close with his family, as mentioned by Jim. Uh, he would want to thank his wife, Nancy, uh, for, for being his partner uh, through what is not always a very stable career, especially, as an example, learning on the radio in the NASL days that the NASL, NASL no longer exists. Um, that was probably not an easy thing to go home and tell your wife, but he would want to thank you, Mom. And then I think, you know, he, he would want to re reflect and, and like, like mentioned, he, you know, part of, I think, dad's legacy was how important it was for soccer to, to grow uh, in, in this country. Um, and I think, you know, if he were here today, he would be thrilled at, at the state and how far soccer has come. Um, somebody, who, again, who, who played in the domestic league here, uh, the current state of our domestic league, I think he would be thrilled with, you know, with the MLS and, and attendance and soccer stadiums, you know, that was probably something he 
uh, dreamed of for me. Uh, uh, you know, imagine his son being able to live in a country where soccer is, is relevant. Uh, does it have a long way to go? Of course, but um, a boy from, from Mercer County, New Jersey, to want those things for his son, and they, they've come to, to be in a lot of ways, I think he would be thrilled, the, the exposure that the national team uh, receives now, uh, and, and the, the resources uh, that, that is uh, you know, available to soccer in this country. Um, I think if, if, part of, if part of his job uh, or purpose uh, was to advance the sport, um, I would say job done. Uh, congratulations again, Casey. Ziggy, thank you, everybody.